Water deep underground is heated by the Earth's natural heat. The heated water is brought to the surface and delivered to Razor's modular power generation array through pipes. The hot well water is then distributed to each of the 50 power generation units in the network in parallel via the large pipes feeding each row of 25 units. Each power generation unit produces its own power simultaneously from the hot well water. Here, the hot water from the production well enters each power generation unit. In a binary system, the well water does not come in contact with the turbine, but rather its heat is transferred to a secondary working fluid as it passes through the coils in the heat exchange tank. Because the working fluid has a boiling point much lower than water, the fluid flashes to steam quickly at temperatures as low as 57 degrees Fahrenheit and moves upward passing through the steam turbine. Pressure from the steam spins the turbines, which in turn spins the electric generator. Each unit can generate about 280 kilowatts of power. By combining the power from all 50 units, about 11 megawatts of net power is generated in this first phase of the plant. The well water, now about 70 degrees cooler, is passed to injection wells where it is pumped back into the aquifer. There, it is heated once again by hot rocks deep underground and circulated back to the surface through production wells to repeat the power generation cycle. After leaving the turbine, the steam moves upward into the condenser tank. Here, cooling water enters the condenser from the cooling towers and circulates through coils in the condenser tank and cools the steam, allowing it to condense back into a fluid collecting at the bottom of the tank. The cooling water enters the tank at about 67 degrees, but after cooling down the working fluid, it leaves the tank at about 87 degrees. The working fluid now flows down the tank outlet to the pump, where it is repressurized and injected back into the heat exchange tank to repeat the process. In order to be used again, the cooling water is returned to the cooling towers where it is cooled back down to 67 degrees. It is important to note that the three fluid systems of hot well water, cooling water from the cooling tower, and system working fluid remain in their own separate loops and never mix, so there is no contamination and no emissions. The electric power produced by each pod of five power generation units flows to a power transformer, where the voltage is increased in preparation for transmission over the power grid. The transformers serve all 50 power generation units. The power travels through underground power lines to the switchyard. Here, the power is sent to the power grid via transmission lines. As future phases of the plant come online, a substation with additional transformers will be added to boost voltage to 138 kilovolts to accommodate additional power. Because Razor's binary power plant uses low temperature technology, even after generating 10 megawatts of power in the first phase, in many cases, the well water is still hot enough to generate additional power. After leaving the first array of 50 units, the well water can be passed to a secondary power generation cycle or bottom cycle. In the next phase of the plant, Razor will add a second array of 25 power generation units on the other side of the cooling towers. Here, an additional 6 megawatts of power can be generated from the well water. Cascading power generation in this way is highly productive and economical because 50% more additional power can be generated without the expense of drilling additional wells.